NTV's Grow Weather is sponsored by Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. Acres has what you need to get the job done. This week's drought monitor was released early this week on Thursday morning, still indicating very dry conditions across the central plains. Let's get a closer look here at the state of Kansas, where actually some nice improvements were made due to some recent rainfall that we had. In Kansas, the no drought category now at 16 and a third percent, abnormally dry, about 83 and two thirds percent, both of those 3% improvements from last week's report. Moderate drought now sitting at 65 and 3 quarters percent, about a 4% improvement from last week. Always good to see those improvements. Of course, severe drought now at about 42%, also a 3% improvement from last week as well. Extreme drought, roughly 18 and a third percent. Here's our best improvement of the week, 11 and a half percent improvement from last week's report. An exceptional drought now at about 1.3 percent, which is roughly a 2 percent improvement from last week. Still some very dry areas in parts of southeast Kansas there. Otherwise, looking ahead to Nebraska, not a whole lot was changed from the last week. Maybe some slight improvements in these first couple of categories. No drought now at about 29 and a half percent, abnormally dry, 70 and a half percent. Both of those roughly two and a half percent increases or improvements from last week's report. Moderate drought now at about 52 and a quarter percent, which is roughly a 1% improvement from last week as well. Severe drought still about the same, 29 and a quarter percent there. Extreme drought, 14 and a half percent. Exceptional drought still at 1.31 percent. So those last couple of categories, not a whole lot of improvement there, if any at all. Which we don't want to see still very dry conditions, but looking ahead now to September temperatures, the state of Nebraska and Kansas expecting above average temperatures for the month of September, maybe a better chance there in parts of southwest Kansas. And looking ahead to the September precipitation outlook, parts of far eastern Nebraska maybe expecting some drier uh, conditions expected for precipitation in September. Otherwise, pretty equal chances anywhere else you look in Nebraska and Kansas. In the next three months, September, October, and November, those temperature outlooks have also been released. Parts of the, uh, the panhandle, southwestern parts of the panhandle there, the southwest part of Nebraska as well, and then parts of southwest Kansas also expecting above average temperatures for the next three months and looking ahead to precipitation. More of the same with those average precipitation chances over Nebraska and Kansas. Always nice to see that rather than dry conditions, especially with the ongoing drought. But speaking of that drought, probably not going to get much improvement for next week as it is looking very hot, very dry as well. Starting the week off 102 on Monday, sticking around in the upper 90s and low 100s really the rest of the week until we could see a bit of a front come through on Friday. Temperatures back down into the upper 80s, at least right now, still a ways out. Even some precipitation chances may enter the mix yet again for our Friday. Otherwise, the Grow Almanac for the week ahead. Normal highs sitting roughly at 85. Normal low at 62. Looking much warmer in the week ahead, of course, with those hunters in the forecast. Average highs of around 97 for the week ahead. And then the average low right around 71. So above average temperatures expected this week. And your Grow Proverb for this week anyway. If the 24th of August be fair or clear, then hope for a prosperous autumn that year. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. It's clear and fair on the 24th at this hour right now, but I have to see if that will transfer to a prosperous autumn for the fall. That is a check of your grow report for the weather forecast this week. Be sure to stay, stay tuned next week when it will once again be time to grow. Sure, appreciate seeing your photos, especially if you've got some FFA kids, maybe beginning the new year, or some kids wrapping up county fair season. Send them to us at Nebraska.tv/slash chime in.